Did you watch my playthrough 10 of Final Fantasy 16? Because if you did, you'd notice I still have the same bed hair, the same shirt. Only difference is I'm well rested after a nap. <laughs> Anyways, time to get into another gameplay. Giggity. Ugh, that intro was awkward. Okay, what does this want me to do? Visit the infirmary. Speak with the butcher at Martha's Rest. Ooh. Let's check our new ornaments. Wow. Great. Fantastic. Awesome. What's this? Okay. Okay. Oop. Hers, I'll read. Forgive my insistence on writing you these silly letters. With that, we had more time to speak to each other in person, but for every day we spend together, it feels as though we must suffer another two part or another two apart. I'm gladdened to hear of your most unexpected reunion with Ambrosia, or should I say, Whiteheart. You told me once how your Chocobo sacrificed herself to protect you that night at the Phoenix Gate, and here, so many years later, we find she has spent her life doing that exact same thing, defending others. Some things have never changed, do they? Clive. You know what, Clive? You're pissing me off not wifing her, man. Makes me want to reach into the screen and slap this character. Get your act together, Clive. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? Yes, all of it's and true. What can I do for you? The world's falling apart. Platinum sword. Hello. Oh wait, Hello, we gotta Dad. see. Uh... Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Gotta see if this was a sword. Oh, yeah. What do you want? Uh, nope, that monster didn't drop a sword. Platinum belt. Liquid flame. Okay, compare gear. 64. Hmm. So platinum cannons will get us up to 55. It's still not as good, man. Like, crafting's completely freaking useless in this game. Okay, um, uh, let's craft platinum sword, I guess. Not bad. If I do say so myself. Finally got something worth crafting, yay. Platinum belt. <clears throat> what do I got? Denominator, not denominator. Okay, let's do it. No scratches, right? Reinforce platinum sword two. You can thank me later. Alright. Platinum belt two, do it. My best work, but it'll do. I mean, we can only do plus two, so. And... All right. Gear. Platinum sword. Platinum belt. I didn't get anything special. Willow wikes. 
now. What do I got? 1340. Uh, just under. I need potions. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Don't just stand there gawping. Automatically charges magic spells. Increase. Increases limit break generation by 3% when taking damage, when dealing damage. These are so tempting. 3% at the end of the day, that's not that much. Need more of these. You're rubbing me blind, you know. I want elixirs. It'd better all be here. Salvalebals. Is that all? The sword looks aight. Is there any way to transmog in this game? Did I miss that somehow? Let me select that. Uh. Yeah, no transmogging. Dom. Damn it, man. Dom. Should we visit all training? Will this give me anything? Replay any previously cleared stage and be, and be re awarded with a score based on performance. Restrictions on level gear, consumer gameplay mode will default to action focused. Replay any previously cleared stage, but at current level. Treasure coffered data is retained. What? So we get score. Interesting. Gameplay. Okay, so I did have it on action focus. So that is the more... I, I, I've, I've had this on the more challenging mode. Ultimately, it's not um, that challenging. Hey, just because I die every now and then doesn't mean it's, you know, a super challenging game, okay? Even on easiest difficulties, we're allowed a couple of deaths. Oh, Potha. Whatever am I to do now, Clive? About what? I've two dresses that need stitching, but I haven't got a scrap of linen. Those girls' rags are so threadbare. It's a wonder they don't fall to pieces. And we most certainly cannot have that. A certain amount Certainly of not. Must be maintained, even here at the hideaway. You wouldn't want the poor things going without decent clothes now, would you? True. Of course not. What can I do to help? Oh, aren't you a dear? You see, I've paid for two bolts of cloth from the drapers in Northreach, blue and red. But they don't deliver, not to places that aren't on the map anyway, so I'll need someone to take this receipt and collect them. And you'd have this someone be me. I would. And don't let them fob you off with anything less than what I paid for. One bolt of blue and one of red. I expect them both. Another fetch crust. Yay. They said they'd give us new clothes. But we've no coin. Visit the Draper in Northreach. All right. Where's my Jill at? She's usually standing right here. Where are you, waifu? Okay, I don't want to continue my quest just yet. Let's go look at the map. Let's see if we can find that griffin first. Were any of these hit? Martha's Rest. East Bull.
Still can't figure it out. Pretty frustrating. Okay, North Reach. All right, let's go to uh, Martha's Rest. Let's go do this quest real quick. Jill not with me. Oh no. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? Yep. Ah, oh, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got a gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets. If you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. Boy, I haven't heard folk call him that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back Look at all that day. pork belly behind him. They turn him. a wicked mm. purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. When there was a war on... Wait, are there pigs thing. in this world? Thankfully. Chocobo belly, maybe? As hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet, memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. All right. <clears throat> Search the nearby swamps for scorpions. In case anybody's wondering what I'm munching on, welcome. nature's best fig bars. A hundred times better than fig newtons. These are awesome. How badass would that be if I get contacted by nature's best for a sponsorship? With my measly 94 subscribers. Y'all don't love me. Sound there over yonder. There's scorpions closer by. Why do I have to go to the further one? Oops. Switch to Torgo. I remembered again. A little late, but I remembered. Turgo, you're in my way, buddy. Scorpions. You don't know what I'm up against. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to do that. Uh oh. 
over. Nope, nope. Nope. Stay down. Shift shot. Unwanted Violet. I have to check my camera. It's a little dark, eh? Before it goes bad. Or any worse, at least. Better? Better. Okay, uh, where do I go now? Deliver unwanted violets and hide away. Got it. Okay, mm. The three reeds. Aqua dot. East pool. I'm still looking for that damn Westgate, man. <clears throat> so that's here. Uh, where do I go? Hide away. Visit the Drepia. Hunting down bears, stringing. Did you find our mystery ingredient? Yes, I did. I did indeed. Marvelous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. <laughs> Into the pot it goes, I suppose. Into the pot it uh, goes, I, I suppose. You suppose right, damn it. Follow the recipe. I present what is that pile of shit, you muppet? You, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. Yeah. No. Not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. Ugh, that swallowing mm. sound. Odin's teeth. What the salt on the senses. It's like choking on swamp water. And and yet, up through the pungency, there rise complex, meaty notes. It it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavors, but <laughs> never have I tasted anything so hey, fine. Hey, dip it in that bread. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're... Uh... Welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of chances stew sits Ain't before no way, everyone man. in the hideaway. Can you imagine getting a, a bowl of food that looks like that? And Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm and it's not even the purple sure color. One of my favorite types of food is purple. And any dish you make with it turns it dark purple or light purple. And that's ube. Badge of metal plus one. It's an ex you can plus one these? <clears throat> so for, for those of you that do not know what ube is, it's purple yam. So it's a type of yam that actually is purple. The flesh is purple. You'll often see it interchanged with taro, which is a totally different root that, you know, when people make dishes with taro, they'll color it purple. So it ends up tasting like ube anyways. 
And you, even though ube is a yam, it's not like your typical like American yams or anything. It doesn't taste like that. It's just, it's delightful. If you ever see an ube dish or like a taro dessert, like order it. It's really, really good. One day, I want to sail all the way to the shore. There's also such thing as purple potatoes from Japan. They're called Okinawan potatoes. Those are darker purple. Okay, uh... What do we have to do now? Oh, we gotta check the accessories first. What was that that it gave me? Badge of metal. Increased defense by 30? Ooh. Yeah, I like that. Twelve percent ignition. I like that. I like me. I like that one. This dodge one's really good. Question is, do I want defense or twelve percent? No, that's I, I need defense. Okay, so this is slot two. Badge of metal. Technically, I can get 40 defense. Attributes. Let's look at my defense now. 221. Nice. Okay. Uh, do I have enough to buy? Ah, oh, I'm so close. I haven't been seen there of late. The calm before the storm. The calm before the storm. Mapola. Okay, what's this? Uh, north reach for... Draper. Okay, let's go there. We side questing. We side questing. The draper has Hortense's cloth. All anyone ever wants. Fresh cuts. Come and get them before they're gone. Where'd you go? What? Might I interest you in some swans down? Perhaps some seersucker or herringbone. Just some linen. Two bolts. Seersucker. for in full. Apologies, my lord, but your items aren't here. They were due to arrive on a caravan from Bocklad, but there's been little traffic on the road these past few days. Of course, I have to go my get it myself. It bandits. But she always thinks it's bandits. It usually is. So I assume the caravan will be coming from the south. Yes, hopefully carrying all manner of spice and sundries. Wait, you aren't thinking of... Going to find it. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Oh. Well then, be safe. Got it. <laughs> Items? Okay, get stopped by a little bit of a little rocks. Hello, love. What are you, raptors? No, you get away from me. I don't want to deal with you. Ain't no one got time for that. <clears throat> over there hello caravan birds are 
Be safe. She nothing by it, I swear. Blink. Who's gonna buy my wares now? State your animals left them in. But they hardly damage us all. Is there something wrong? If you're a bandit come to steal my staff, you're gonna be sorely disappointed. And all thanks to this fool. But it, it was you who stepped into my path. Only after that feather brain trampled me. I feather demand brain. recompense, be it in coin. Listen here, you uppity you bastard. Carry. Refuse, and I shall report you to the garrison and see you hanged. Uh, these, these goods are expected in Northreach. I mean, they're not mine to give away. You wouldn't happen to be on your way from Boklad, would you? I, I, I am, but um, did someone from the market send you? Please, please, you have to help me. I, I can pay whatever you ask. So the fool has protection and coin too. Sorry, friend. But we'll be the ones taking it. Oi! Kill yeah, her. you're making a mistake, Time buddy. To collect. I told you not to call me that. All right. Look at this big old oaf. If you hadn't insisted, we'd put on this little act. Hey, one of the big guys finally have a deeper voice. As I told one of the <clears> customers, <throat> deeply is. Let's get this over with. Listen here, you're gonna get parried. I'll deal with the bird lover. You take the handsome one. Killer. Maybe not. <laughs> Stop calling me that. Oh, I was a little late on that parry. Ooh, I didn't mean to do that. There's a good boy. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna parry you. Oh. Parry timing's really weird in this game. I'm hurt, Toggle. Damn it. Help me, boy. I'm hurt, Toggle. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. Woo! Oh, dang it. I was using my potion again. Come on, I parried that. Come back down here. You eat that? Eat that. Eat that. Eat this too. <laughs> Sixty. Okay. All right, all right. You made your point. All right, all right. Did he hurt you? <sighs> Stop accidentally using your potions. No, no, thankfully. He seemed intent on letting the bandit do his dirty work for him. And he would have succeeded had the great lender not sent you. My shipment is safe and my livelihood with it. You must allow me to reward you. We can yes, speak please do. Give me two more high reach. potions. I'll accompany you there. <clears throat> I wish this game had normal parry timings. 
so you and my mother were right. It is always bandits. And were it not for the kindness of our free sword here, you'd be buying your order back from them at twice the price. Now, if you don't mind, I have a pressing appointment at the Vale before my return to Boklad. Uh, farewell. Farewell. Ta-ta. Cheerio. Oh, I almost forgot. I suppose you'd be wanting your linen. You'll be happy to know both bolts arrived safely along with the rest of the delivery. I've also added a few extra lengths of our finest fabrics to the bundle. I mean, I did just escort Free it back charge. with him. So, of course, they all got there sure? safely. My mother would insist. It's the least we can do for the man who saved our shipment. Why, thank you, my lady. How's that done, then? Bundle of cloth. With a cloth. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll have to buy more high potions. I wonder how much I've spent on buying potions because I accidentally use them all when I mean to use Torgo. Do you see anything you like? Yeah, potions. Please tell me I didn't use my elixirs. Who knows what he wants. Okay, good. You've a keen eye. You got nothing interesting. And I have nothing to Come sell. Back again. Okay, to bring the cloths back. Over here. Clive, sorry again for sending you all that way, but you did get my order, didn't you? Yes, ma'am. Don't worry. I have it. I believe this will more than satisfy your needs. <gasps> Let's see here. One bolt of red, one bolt of blue. What's this? I don't recall ordering any silk or velvet or... Is this gold work? Gregor's ghost. If that devil of a draper expects me to pay for these. No. Nope. needn't worry on that score. It was a courtesy. They were a gift. For services rendered. I can always return them if you like. Oh, no. Oh, there's no need to be hasty now, Clive. I'm sure I can put all three to good use. Speaking of which, which one's most to your liking? Hmm? I don't know. Which cloth is most to your liking? Why do I have a feeling this is this is like the Tifa choice, isn't it? What dress she's gonna end up wearing? This is for Jill. I mean silk's always better, right? Lush red velvet. Black embroidered linen. Something tells me to go with silk. But black embroidered, what does that mean? Like it's going to have gold on it? Let's do black. This one, I suppose. I have a mind to give a piece to Jill. Did you know she's quite <clears throat> a little seamstress? I knew it. I know Needlecraft was amongst her lessons at the castle. Her lessons? Oh, that's right. The two of you were raised together in Rosalith, weren't you? Not quite together, but... When my father put down the uprising in the Northern Territories, Jill was taken as a ward to ensure that her father, the Silvermane, would keep the peace. She's an honest-to-goodness princess then, isn't she? I could tell, you know. Some people just have that air about them. Not many round here, mind. I'd offer to sew her something that might better suit her station. But she'd most likely turn me down, as she always does. Tell me not to waste the fabric when it's better used on the children. Don't take it the wrong way. She certainly seems to be attached to the last outfit you made her. Oh, <laughs> sometimes I think she never takes it off. <laughs> well, perhaps she'll make something for herself with your gift. Either way, I'm sure she won't turn it down. We'll see, I suppose.
I just know I picked wrong right there again. I picked wrong in the 7 remake. I wanted Tifa to have that purple dress. Lady Horten said she'd give us our dresses soon. Said they'd be made of linen. I didn't know. Not sackcloth. I've never had a dress. Oh, wait. I think that gave me enough, uh... I should have enough now. Abilities, abilities. Yes! Gimme! Too bad, because I do like the... I do like these abilities. But this one's gonna have to go. Flames of Rebirth. So maybe I can trade this attack for. Okay, Flames of Rebirth. Reduces Flames of Rebirth, rebirth cooldown time by 12 seconds. Or should I keep my attack at 12? It's a really tough call. Yeah, let's keep it at 12. Forget it. Is there another the backyard? <clears throat> it's another quest that adds something to that gives me something, so let's go check it out. I have a feeling I should have chosen Lush Red Velvet. Yes, I'm still talking about it. I can't get over it. Uh, Sid, I... I know that when we came to the hideaway, we chose to let go of our past in order that we might focus on our future. We did. Nonetheless, I was wondering if... Well, I know you are from Rosaria, and I'm in need of someone with intimate knowledge of those lands. Apparently, the duchy is home to all manner of curative herbs found nowhere else in the realm. Among them is a flower called a Morgan beard that increases the potency of lesser medicines. I can't say that I've had much practice healing. My youth was spent in the Bailey. A shame. You see, the hideaway relies heavily upon medicines procured from afar. And when those shipments are late, well, I'm messing with my lighting. If we could find this flower and learn to grow it here, we might save many lives. All right, we'll leave it However, there. As you are well aware, Imperial occupation has rendered the roads unsafe for those like me, untrained in the military arts. Now, I'm not asking the busiest man in the hideaway to drop everything and make the journey for me, but... Yeah, you kind of are. I happen to be in the duchy on other business... Tell me of these Morgan beards, then. But of course, if my old tomes are to be believed, the flowers are bright yellow and as large as goblins' eyes. Oh, and they grow in the marshes of Sorrowise. If I am to propagate them here in the backyard, I will require several samples, preferably of blooms which have already gone to seed. And before I forget, I do seem to recall learning in the course of my research that their odor has the tendency to attract unsavory creatures. Nothing you cannot handle, though, I'm sure. Got it. I wonder what goodies this quest is going to give me. What's this? Foundations of Elystian Botany, Marble Tendrils. After excising from the trunk, dry for three to five turns of the sun until brittle to the touch. Grind and mortar and add to warm coral milk to remedy gout, melancholy, and moon sickness. Caution recommended when harvesting as the host may grow disquieted. It's 
Experimental. Okay. Looks like I'm going to get a new type of potion from this. We'll go check it out. Uh, I don't need to run all the way back over there. Martha's Rest. There's another plus quest over there. Uh, search Northern Ros Rosaria. Okay, let's go pick up this quest real quick. You won't help me here. No? Why not? Ready, girl? Ready? Run like the wind. Nobody cares about you, Hornets. See if they're damp enough for Morgan Beards. Hello. Get off my chocobo. Stay down. All right, who's doing that? Oh, it's you. Thanks, boy. Come back here. You're annoying, dude. Mortar blow. It's over. Quest destination nearby. Okay, let me get this chest first. I'll pick these up. Bright yellow. Hi! You guys can eat this. You guys can eat this too. And take this. And you take that. Already. 
Yeah, Betty. Come back down here. Why did my potion change again? Come on. Oh, come on. This one too. What? Too slow. Dodge that. Dodge that. Dodge that. Dodge that. <laughs> Come back down here. Pretty simple. Uh, how many potions did I waste Something again? About this God damn it. I used my... Uh, that pisses me off so bad, man. Is that it? Hopefully this will be enough. I've had my fill of goblins. Ah, all right. East for. Westgate? Is this Westgate at all? Nope. Okay, whatever. Uh, do you ever Morgan Bills, Nigel, and the Hideaway? Got it. Me waste more money on buying my potions again. And what can I do for you? You'll not find a better price than that. Is that all? Yes, that's all. I'm gonna need more sooner or later. This game insists on resetting my doesn't even remember what I have it set to last, Torgol or my potion pouch. It is rare that we see you so often in the backyard, Sid. What brings you to the gardens? I mean, you just... You asked me to go get these things for you. your flowers. Yes, yes, wonderful. These are almost identical to the plates in my tongue. Did you have any trouble locating them? Finding them was the easy part, but it's odd. They remind me of my childhood somehow. I don't remember these flowers specifically, but you must have grown them in the castle garden. If the petals are meant to improve the effectiveness of medicines, Oh, Possibly finally, more heals. Grew them for the tinctures and treatments they made my brother. If the ducal healers were convinced of their properties, that is all the more reason to begin growing our own supply here. Oh, allow me to use some of the flowers you brought me to make something that might aid you on your travels. 
I need only a moment to extract the essence from the petals. Please make my potions more effective. And here we are. A file of pure Morgan Beard extract. A single drop added to any one of your restoratives will increase its potency. At least I hope it will. Nice. Danke. Morgan Beard extract. How do I use it? Consumable potency enhanced. Oh, it already did it for me. Whoa, does the mirror just get really bright all of a sudden? You have obtained a file of Morgan Beard extract. Hereby increasing the potency of most consumables, both potions and high potions, now restore more HP while strength, stone skin, stone skin and lion heart tonics last longer. I don't really use those tonics. Use the hunt board to locate the griffin. I've been trying, but I can't find this damn freaking Westgate. Let us know if you find any rotten plants. I guess let me take a look at it again. Like it's gonna change anything. Am I gonna find a different piece of info that I didn't read correctly? Wait, where did I go? How did I end up here? <laughs> I've never been up here. What is this? Anything useful? Oh yeah, there's a chest there. Hello. Goblin coin. Alrighty. Did I? This is where I came down from. Oops. I don't know how you do it. Working under that surly bastard. It's easy. What's this? <laughs> you look just like a princess. Copendium of Rosarian verse. Okay. And you look like the princess's hmm. sister. I'm a little lost. Is that down here? Okay. Hey, 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 get out of my way. You know, let me, uh... Back, are ya? I always thought I could teach the best of them a thing or two about working with leather. But... <laughs> oh, I've wasted enough breath talking about it. Be off with you. Okay. Is it true what I'm hearing, Sid? What are you hearing? One day, I want to sail all the way to the shore. Our man in Dalamil mentioned that Kupka's guard haven't been seen.
North Sarawais. Here in Northern Westgate. Sandbrick. I can't for the life of me figure out where this is. Sandbrick, Sandbrick. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Here's everything we've received and everything promised. You earned this. A rose is a rose orchestrion roll, okay? Best of luck out there, Sid. <sighs> Sandbrick. I don't see anything called Sandbrick. You know? Am I missing something? Hand of Mamas, Westwatch, Northreach. Accessible. Dang it. This is so annoying. I feel like I have to go in here. Yeah, I bet it's over here. I can't access this yet. That's what it is. I, I just know it. Inaccessible. All right. You know what? Let's just continue our quest. Why allow me uh, to start the griffin thing if I can't do it right now? I've done what I can, but the rest is up to you. You need to start taking better care of yourself. Oh. Understood. And thank you. That was unexpected. The curse has spread. Make sure she rests. If it hurts, you can tell me, you know. I'll understand. I can bear it. But you shouldn't have to. 
Not anymore. This isn't just your struggle, Clive. It's ours. And when we see how hard you fight, it inspires us to do the same. Or would you rather we left you to save the world all on your own? No. That's not... Ignore me. Ooh. Do it. Clive, where are you? In here. What's wrong? Those areas under attack. What? What timing is that, man? This isn't the Dalmechian army we're talking about. It's the men of the rock from Drake's Fang. Hugo Kupka's private guard. There is in hell in Rosalith. Trying to batter down the castle gates. Looking for me. Seems that way. Reckon old Hugo has finally worked out who Sid really is. Then this is just another trap. Ah, it's a trap, all right. The daddy of all fucking traps. I'm going to Rosaleth. You're not serious. That's exactly what he wants you to do, Clive. Look, I don't know why Kupka harbors such a grudge against Sid. But as long as it's left to fester, our world will never know peace. He has dragged the rest of Storm into this pointless war just to find me. Beside which, I am not about to stand and watch while my home gets ground into the dirt. Hugo Kuka must die. I've lost I concur. my friends to that man already. I don't want to lose any more. So let's go and kill the bastard. I'm coming too. After all, we're in this together. All right. All for I one and to Otto before leaving. one for all. We need to know what we're getting ourselves into. Indeed. We must be ready to leave for Rosalith at a moment's note. Gov gave you the news then. We're leaving for Rosalith. <clears throat> but not before I know exactly what's going on. What have we heard? All sorts. Nobody was expecting the Delmax to open up a new front against the Empire, least of all our friends in the provinces. Reports have been rolling in from all over the place, with no two saying the same thing. I've been passing them on to Vivian, in the hope she can make sense of them. If you're set on going, you'll want to talk to her. Understood. Understood. If it isn't my favorite pupil. Let's see now, where did we leave? Well, this is a surprise. My lectures are rarely so well attended. Uh, you know what they say? A little knowledge, uh, can't hurt? <laughs> We're Smart. going to Rosalith to deal with Kuka. What's the situation there? <laughs> Whoa there, Lord Rossfield. I'm sure you're champing at the bit to return to your roost, but to fully understand the present situation, one must first understand how it came to be. Story time. Vivian style. Let's 
Let us begin with the story of Hugo Kupka. Or the permanent economic advisor to the Dalmekian government, to give him his formal title. In a republic founded on commerce, there could hardly be a more influential position. It has granted him both extraordinary wealth and extraordinary power. Not that he ever wanted for the latter. Being Titan's dominant, he is also Dalmechia's last line of defense, a fact he has used to his considerable advantage. Why, he was even able to pry Drake's Fang, one of the pillars of the Republic, from Parliament's grip. And he was quick to buy the loyalty of the Fang's protectors. Today they are his faithful creatures, a private army in all but name. The self-same army that marches upon Rosarian soil as we speak. By which I mean Imperial soil, not that you need reminding of the fact. Suffice it to say, the Empire's attentions are elsewhere at present, deadlocked as it is with Dalmechia over its occupation of the Crystalline Dominion, where its legions are now gathered. Scarcely a handful of garrisons remain to secure its western provinces, and half of them left after the fall of Drake's breath. With the threat of the Ironblood thus diminished, they had little cause to fear a maritime invasion. And so today, only a token force guards the former duchy's shores, as Kupka was quick to descry. He landed his troops on the Rosarian coast without encountering so much as a single ship. All for you. Clive. He wants your head. And so he and his men advance upon Rosalith, not to capture the province, but to draw you out. For widow or me? You said Kupka's oh, force he shouldn't have. the coast. What of Port is older then? Is the city safe? Quite, according to the Guardians of the Flame. The Dalmechian fleet floated by without incident, but not without remark. When they learned Kupka's forces were making for Rosalith, our friends were quick to begin arranging the exodus of her citizens. And so the stage will soon be set for your heroic homecoming. Alas, it will be a more trying task to enter the capital than it was to leave it. Hugo's men hold Buett Bridge, despite the Imperials' repeated attempts to wrest it back from their grasp. And they were careful not to repeat the Empire's mistake in neglecting their coastal defenses. The seas around Rosalith are firmly under Dalmechian control. So tell me, pupil mine, what do you believe to be the best route to Rosalith? The North. I, the north. Across the northern border near Phoenix Gate. Then take the road through Stillwind down to the capital. Hardly the quickest route, but at least we won't be spotted. A little local knowledge goes a long way. And so must you. We'd best get a move on then. Oh. Will you be going too? I? I've been waiting a long time to give that fucker a taste of his own medicine. I would have missed this for the world. All right. We should be on our way. I read on from my eye. I must take a wee little break. Let's go get ambushed.
fortify the castle gates at once. What kind of lame ass saluting is that? <laughs> Hugo and his men have been busy. They've already breached the castle's outer wall. The Imperials are holding the ground for now, but it's only a matter of time before the keep falls. Those fuckers really went to town on this place. Almost like they want to wipe it off the map. Just a means to an end. Chuck about toy. One man. They didn't have to go so far. If you keep your wits about you, I reckon <clears> you can make <throat> it up to the castle without raising the alarm. I'll sniff out any townsfolk who haven't escaped yet and send them on the way. Be careful. Likewise. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. All right. like a nightmare. This was our home. Come on, Clive. We have to keep going. Keep going, we shall. Poor goal. Capital punishment. Switch to Torgal, switch to Torgal. Okay, he's on Torgal. This isn't an invasion. It's a massacre. He'll stop at nothing, Clive. Nothing. Dirty bastards. Heck, some opponents will cast protect spells to raise a defensive barrier around their allies that shields them from melee attacks. When engaging protected targets identified by shield icon above their heads, avoid using your sword and, in, and instead employ magic to quickly and efficiently dispel the barrier. I have a solution for that. There's only one fitting punishment. Oh, shoot. How about you guys eat this? I feel like that little thunder thunderball thing is kind of useless. I was hoping that would just get rid of their shield from constant electricity. Who's next? I yield, I yield. Why do they just stand there like that? If you see people, your people being chased, announce yourself. Look 
what we have here. You could have saved a few lives there, you know? I'm just saying. Gentlemen. Or shoot a fireball their way. <laughs> you won't escape. <laughs> Hello. Stay down. Stay down. It's not what I wanted to do, okay? Sweet. Uh, is it this way? Cut them down with me, men. For the Out of our way. Ah, dang it. Okay. You guys take this. Come down. Those uh, shield barrier things, it's gonna be annoying as hell. It'll be very annoying to deal with. Come on, take him! You guys take this. Take this as well. Baby, this one very well. Bye bye. If insufficient inventory space, okay. Crawl up. Climb up, I mean. Uh, 
Hello, chest. <clears throat> All these bodies, damn it. Except lighter enemies. That's awesome. I mean, I can just wait here and wait till my stuff cools down, you know? Uh, this way? in every playthrough but good gosh this movie this music's good the will of lightning pile drive Ooh, what is this increased pile drive will damage by 10 percent what the hell is pile drive I'll drive. Taunt. Burning blade. Stomp. Thunderstorm. Pile drive. Oh, this one. Interesting. Enemies approach. Where? Come on. Finish it. You guys take this. Take that. Oh yeah, chain lightning. This is good after all. <laughs> I didn't know I had to hit it. It's actually awesome. <laughs> Does AOE damage, which I like. Set her loose. They have a curl. Ooh, another classic Final Fantasy beast. Ready? What do you think? 
Damn, Jill. Woo! Oh. I thought I died that. Hello. No. This guy's fast. What the hell? There we go. Take that. <laughs> this is so cool. Hell yeah. Dude, that, uh, that little lightning ball, if you set that down and then do all your other specials and it just keeps chaining lightning along with your special moves, it's so damaging. It's great. Man. Just chaining together, everything's so satisfying. We meet at last, Sid. Or should I say Lord Rosfield? I've been looking for you for a very long time. Let her go, Kuka. She should make her hands freezing I'm right so now. I'm so glad you Making accepted my invitation. <sighs> I went to some trouble with the decorations. 
Do you like what I've done with the place? Bastard. <laughs> Such a pity your predecessor couldn't join us. But I am sure you will prove compelling company. No! Be still, little snowflake. I would not have you melt before your starring moment. I don't like this. Torgal, save us. Like this. That's just great, that is. I suppose it's up to me then. <sighs> How did Joe get caught, anyways? Come on. No more than she deserves for getting into bed with an outlaw. <laughs> we should get into mine. <laughs> Lord Kupka commands your presence. You're to bear witness to the girl's execution. Such a waste. <laughs> are a bastard to open, just so you know. Don't worry, I'll have them off before you can blink. Where's Jill? In the courtyard. Shit. <sighs> we have to hurry. Save her. The Imperials have sounded the retreat and cleared out of the castle. But the place is still swarming with Kupka's men. Leave them to me. I'll make my way up top and circle round the back. Quick as you like, eh? Quick as you like, eh? Nearly forgot. Thank you. Even though this sword's ugly. Since I can't change it to make it look like however I want. In cutscenes. You know, just simple quality of life stuff. Square. Enix. Get out. Get, the courtyard. get Jill. More potions on full on.
No Torgo. Don't you let her die. Is there something here? Oh, this is where I fought. Oh, this is where, uh, what's his face? <clears throat> Hugo Boss. We are fucked if you don't. Turn into Ifrit, that's the plan. Torgo. <laughs> Weren't they supposed to get Clive to watch this? can do that? <clears throat> what the? That's dope. Jill, can you stand? Come, come, Lord Rosfield. Don't tell me you tire of my entertainment. Enough! Yes. Perhaps it is time we served the main repast. I trust you are hungry! Look at Torgo. This much obliged. <clears throat> Stay close. We're getting out of here. And Togul, thank you. Yeah. Take all of them! Can't explain what the fuck your job just did. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. That includes you two. All of you. on my potion again, dude. That pisses me off. Man, freaking messed up timing on this crap.
much to be ours. What up, tiny dancers? I thought Buddy was always treating in threes. Let them come. <laughs> Come down here. This There we go. To me, boy. Level up. It's over. For now. But I bet that wasn't the last of them. And they won't stop hunting us until Kubka's dead. So you get in there and finish the job, eh? Go on. If they come again, we'll hold them back. All right. But be careful. Torg will be looking vicious now. Ooh, I used all my high potions. I wonder what she says Don't if worry I... about us. Okay. Go. He's so sweet, man. Nice. I need more potions. I promise you, Sid. Hi, potion. Hi, potion. By my yes. Wait, what's up here? El potions. Just what I needed. This is going to be a tough fight. Feels like it. Have you come to defend your father's throne? 
Lord Rosfield? <laughs> the Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A realm without a ruler. An army. Even a people. A veritable kingdom. You know, I have space for dust. your titan power. Truly, I see no throne to defend. No! Enough of your games, Kupka. Just tell me what you want. Sid's head in a box. Imagine my disappointment when I learned that he met his end at the hand of another. And my relief to learn that you had taken up his thrice damned name. Your master slew Benedicta Harmon and defiled her body. If you choose to bear that murderer's name, then you shall answer for his crimes. The only crimes I shall answer for are my own. Sid did everything in his power to save that woman, though she was long past saving. And so I did what he couldn't. I slayed her. all along, Hugo. It was... you. And surprise, I got her powers. You... you killed her. I did. And I am fortunate indeed. I had thought the most I could wish for was to take the life of one he loved, just as he did to me. But it seems I was wrong. And I shall have my revenge. Shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. She would be my queen. And together, we would rule like the gods we are. But you crushed that dream, ground it into dust. Can yeah. me, Rosfield? You will pay. For what you've done. Bro, took one too many steroid shots. And what have you? How many people have you killed? How many dreams have you crushed? You're not the only one who's seen their world fall apart around them. You'll get no pity from me, Kuka. No pity. And None. No mercy. Now die! Yeah. Woo! What you think this is, huh? You learned what becomes of those who dare to cross me. Cross me! Nope. I'll kill you. Nope.
Come on, that should be a counter. You, no, come on. That freaking dodge time. You will die by my hand, Rusty. No, I won't. My Trust me. Not happening. A new thing. Let this palace be your grave. What? Oh, shit. Are you going to fight me in your normal form?
was a parry, no way. You went for death! Eat this. You eat that too. No, wait, what was that? What? Uh, I had no idea that was AoE. I was doing my special move, dang it. Dang it. Not enough time to run away. No, uh, parries? Dude, this guy's tough. Get him, get him, get him. 
get him, get him, get him. Towards my uh, lightning. I can't see anything. Come on, how do you dodge that? So cheap.
Earth shard. Not as easy as you thought, was it? What did you slice off, Clive? His jaw? His hand? <laughs> uh oh. with this head. Son of a <sighs> Take his power, Clive. You must get this? yourself worked up. Wait! What in the... Another time, Mirthos. Mirthos. Good boy. Is that all of them? I think so. Well, Luda scum. Who the fuck invited them? Not that that's the biggest surprise we've had today. Where did you learn to do that toggle? Not telling, eh? Suit yourself. Gav, we have to find Clive. Right, sorry. You missed one. We were worried. So was I. <laughs> Sorry, my hands were tied. I was so close. If it hadn't been for my gift, I would have finished him. I'm just glad you got out of there alive. When did the Royalists arrive? Right after you went inside. Just when we thought we were shot of Titans lot. In pile Odins. Are there more men coming to though? give Titan no. a hand? You didn't see the one who took Kukra away. So what? You think they came <clears throat> here to save him? Probably not, because I'll be fucked up. He I probably know wanted to take on. a every minute we hands on our brains that bust approach further away. So what do we do? We go back to the hideaway. 
I'm too tired to think. As are you, by the looks of it. And after what Jill's been through. She needs rest. Kuka later, shall we? Kuka. I. All right. It'll give us a chance to solve the riddle of your magic mud, too. Hey, how are you feeling? Ready to go home? Lucky for him, Kuka got a helping hand. I applaud that boss fight. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll stop, I'll stop, I'll stop. Hide away. Seemed like Clive got new powers, but I guess not. Just look at the state of you. You're more of a wreck than this place. Is this what you call taking better care of yourself? No more excuses, your ladyship. I order you to rest. <sighs> Fine. I'll rest. Don't worry, Gav. She's in good hands. But we should have never let her fall into Hugo's. Back when he had some like. The question is... Where is he now? They made the joke for me. And what the hell were those wireless doing there? Hmm. I was wondering about that all the way home. Otto may have heard something. I'll talk to him. And I'll talk to Tomes. The lawsman? About what? About your faithful hound for a start. If any four-legged friends ever done that before, I'm betting Tomes will have read about it. But what I want to know is, what happens afterwards? It's all well and good Toggle saving our asses, but if it costs him what it costs Jill... Right. Let me know if you learn anything. Will do. And you do the same, eh? Jill. Listen to Taya. I will. Thank you. Bolts from the blue. The power of Earth. Clive has claimed a portion of Icon Titan's essence. Attuning with Titan not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities such as Wind Up, a singular strike that increases in potency when charged. Cool. Titan's iconic feat, Titan Block, can be used to fend off most incoming, atta incoming attacks. Using square immediately after a perfectly timed precision block will finally a proper parry. Let me take a look at how it works. Ooh, yeah, that's badass. Okay. <clears throat> I think I shall save and we'll end this play through here. Titan channeled. Let's take a look at this first. Wind up, punch forward, hold button to wind up and attack and attack, further increasing potency. Ooh, that's dope. You rarely get a moment to charge up your attacks though in this game. Slam fist in the ground, dealing damage to all enemies within range. Hold button to increase range. Can be used in midair. Ooh, okay. That's dope. Oh, look at this. That's sick. Step forward and deliver a blinding flurry of high-speed punches. Blocking an enemy attack with the step with the step forward increases the potency of following punches. I dig that. I think I'd rather have that than uh, this thing.
Actually, uh, if I use this while an opponent staggered, it'd be really useful. What's his special? Oh, that's sick. I'm going to like this dude's abilities. 1895, I'm close to unlocking that. Okay. And that's going to do it for episode 11 of this Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. And this one was also a very eventful one. That's two playthroughs back to back, just full of awesome fights. Wasn't slow at all. And I think I'm really going to enjoy Titan's abilities. They are finally providing me with the proper parry. See, the current parry system is very, very awkward. You have to find like this, the right timing in the middle of the enemy swing, basically. It's like right, be right before they swing down with their wind up. So it's not like any other parry system I've come across. But now Titan has the ability to where I can throw it up and parry right before the attack hits. Instead of like finding at what point in the enemy swing animation you have to hit them. So I think I'm really, really going to enjoy that. This is what I've been waiting for. And hey, our little buddy Torgo can change too. That was sweet. So we're going to have to find out uh, what's going on with Torgo. Anyway, that's going to do it for me today. So make sure you like the video. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate you. Bye-bye. <laughs>